I actually didn't say it. I don't know why I didn't even say it live. Okay, fingers crossed. This is working. I'm not touching anything. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Today, my lovely, is a good evening. We're going to talk about our uh, intuition. Your intuition. Interesting subject. I love the subject. Um, it's also interesting because especially for you guys, whoever is struggling with anxiety, then, okay, you know, what is anxiety? It was my intuition. One is telling me I'm worried, 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 worried. I'm anxious. I shouldn't go there. I shouldn't do that. I can hear, yes, amazing. Hello, darling. How are you? How are we tonight? Um, We're talking about intuition today. How is your intuition? Do you... Do you tap into your intuition? Do you listen to it? Do you not use it at all? Some people actually think that not everyone's got intuition. You know, like sometimes we have psychics and stuff. I'm doing really well, thank you. Amazing, oh, Loving it, loving it. I love the fact that you're doing really well. Love it. Um, tell me about your intuition, Jodie. Are you quite in tune with your intuition? You never use it. I love it, I hate it. I'm not sure what it is. Um. I think some people think that uh, intuition is just for psychics. Mmm, Jodie says she's got a sixth sense. Amazing, amazing. That's great. Um, but think about it, okay? Your intuition subconsciously brought you here, brought you to this mission, brought you to this, not mission, to this group, okay? 90 day healing anxiety challenge because your intuition knows this will help you. And how amazing is that? Buzzing. <laughs> Maybe I should be a little bit more professional sometimes, you know, like, oh, I'm so sorry. I should be more calm and collected. But you know what? I'm having fun with this. I'm, I'm being here live with you guys. I'm telling you my stories. I'm telling you the stories of of people out there and everything I know that will help you, that should help you. Or I, I also give you choices, you know, this could help you, this could help you. Choose whatever whatever feels right. But, you know, I was thinking today, I'm going to read it in a second. I was thinking about um, the 90 day challenge finishing, right? And it's finishing soon, guys. It's mission 63 here. I know I, I did some something silly last week and it was like <laughs> Sharon was messaging me. He's like, B, there is mission 55 three times or something like that. But I'm like, okay, I'll sort it out. And I did. I'm going to read. Jodie just, just put some stuff about intuition. I'm going to read it in a second. And I was like, oh, I'm getting really sad. And I'm like, do you know what? No, mission 90 will come and I will continue. I will not be, you know, with you every single day, but I want to continue. I want to jump in uh, when I feel inspired. I want to keep giving you um, more value, more, not missions, but maybe little nuggets or little things that um, I will feel that helps you. You know, we'll talk about different things. We'll talk about, maybe I can make a video of what helps you, like um, essential oils, and we can just, you know, go through essential oils and, and how to use them, what kind of um, ones to choose, what is good for you, what's, you know, maybe, um, you know, little, little things like that. Um, I'm also, I um, started recording today, uh, meditation, the morning meditation and evening meditation. You already have the, the confidence booster ones. I will pin that somewhere in a rainy day. So, you know, you can go to a rainy day section and say, okay, feeling shit today. Okay, I can do this, this, this. And you know where it is, get in. Um, and, and it's there for you quite quickly, okay? Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm definitely not like, oh my God, 90 days is finished. You know, we're going to close the group. That's it. See you later. No, we're going to continue. We're going to be here. We're going to help each other. We're going to, um, and even if someone's finishing things, I, I would love you to go back. I would love you to do it again. I would love you to, or maybe pick and choose, you know, oh, I remember this mission, this mission, oh. This mission was great and, and I loved it. You know, like, um, I think Jodie was saying that she'd really enjoy a forgiveness workshop and she wants to go back. 
I think Sharon said the same. Um, and some of them, they need a little bit more attention. Some of them, they need, um, you know, revising things because forgiveness workshop, how many things you might be, you know, trying to forgive or how many people may be holding you back still you know it, sometimes you need to do a thing a few times and you know what's beautiful you are growing every single time you're doing something and every single time you're going to go back you are a different person you are a stronger person you are more your emotional intelligence is stronger and stronger okay so today about intuition but let me just read what jody said um, Jodie said she's got um, really in tune with her intuition. It's like her sixth sense. I would say I used to be. Um, it would tell me not to go somewhere and and wouldn't do something bad would happen and the people that would go. Oh, okay. So the, she would just listen to the intuition and um, the intuition would say don't go somewhere and people would go and bad things will happen. Okay, great. Well, not great for the people, but you know what I mean. Yes, I'm really feeling positive. Um, I've been doing really well the last couple of days, making big progress. Amazing! Big, big hug, big, big hug. Oh, my God. Uh, and yay, thank you. Glad you will continue after mission night. Of course, of course. So, intuition. Um, we all have it. We were all born with our intuition, okay? It's about tuning in. It's about listening. And I'm telling you, your intuition, something told you. You, you didn't, it's not a conscious thing. You didn't think, oh, what should I do? What should I do? Subconsciously, your intuition said, pick this thing. This thing will, will take you somewhere. This 90 day challenge will, you know, make you grow, will make some changes. And you continue, you continue, you continue. Intuition is one thing. It's an impulse to do something. It's an impulse to not to do something. And I tell you in a different in a second what's the difference, but then you need to act on that. Okay, so intuition is like your inner wisdom. It's like a compass. Okay, but not everybody knows how to use it. Not everybody knows how to tune in into it. And it's beautiful. It's like you know you don't even ask you don't even have to ask anyone questions. This is you. You know, like you talking to the little you, you talking to your inner child and it's like having that conversation. Okay, what should I do? What should I choose? And I tell you what, in my life, when I, um, whenever I have a big decision, whenever I have, I don't know, I'm moving across the world, right? And it's like, should I do it? Should I not? You know, um, is this the right decision? Is this right time? Um, it's a big decision, right? And it's like, I just know. I just know. I've got this inner knowing in my gut. Yeah, I'm going. And sometimes that decision or sometimes that that feeling is not logical. It's not, you know, you, your mind will tell you one thing and your heart will tell you another thing and your gut will tell you another thing. And it's like, now I'm confused. Okay. And it's like, you don't have to act on your intuition straight away. Just sit on it, okay? Especially when you have a big decision. Sit on it and ask wise questions. That's another thing that we ask silly questions. Should I go out with this boy? Really? You know, what is a wise question? What is an intelligent question? You know, what... Um, you know, we need to ask good questions. We need to learn how to ask good questions. So, intuition. When something, and tell me if you agree with me, Jody. when something, you know when you were saying that you didn't go somewhere because you had a bad feeling, when your intuition tells you no, not to do it, for me, I feel tight. I feel um, unease. I feel... Um, heaviness heaviness and it's like mm, i'm not sure i'm not sure and i tell you a situation um i was moving house and um i was i was living so i broke up with a boyfriend a long time ago i didn't want to live on my own um and i moved with with some people um and it was a good decision it was a good decision i paid my uh, the deposit moved in. It was uh, it was a big, big house, like a big, beautiful Victorian house, and I lived with uh, quite a few people there. 
and and I wanted that. I wanted to be surrounded by people. I didn't want to be lonely. I wanted to go to the kitchen, to the bed, to the living room, have a conversation. You know, not just think I'm going through a breakup and and just cry myself to sleep and whatever. If I want to go to the party or you know go shopping with someone, there will be people out there. And what was nice, we actually moved in together to the property. We actually, you know, they just renovated the property and they were saying, okay, you all moving at the same time. It's not like you know, sometimes it could be like quite intimidating that you moving into a house and then there is already kind of a pack, a group of people. Um, yeah. And, and I moved there and I had a really good time. I think I lived there for about a year and then I met some people who I, I lived with. Um, imagine I was going through a breakup. So it was, uh, an interesting time for me. I would go party. I would go party. I would. I, I told you about this. You know, I would party. I would go out with work all the time. I would. Um, I. You know, I would be hungover every single weekend for a year straight, literally. And those would be the people that would go party. Would go party. Would go. You know, they would party for three days straight. They would. And and I was like, yeah, this, this is what I need. This is what I need and the distraction rather than actually sit down and say okay what am I feeling why am I going through this why am I depressed why am I anxious why am I you know I I I, I was scared to acknowledge something's wrong with me it's not like it was something's wrong I was I was scared to see the real me I was scared to see um to face the truth yeah maybe you can relate so I was covering, you know, I was like, yeah, let's get drunk, oh, let's go out, oh, let's buy this new dress. You know, I had 40 pairs of shoes. How many pairs of shoes do you really want? Do you really need? Not that many. Um, and our um, lease was coming to, to an end. And, every, you know, not, not everyone, but quite a few of them were moving out. And they were saying, okay, um, do, you, do, do you wanna move out with us? And I was like, do I want to continue partying? Do I want to continue do this? Do I want to do this? Do I do want to do that? And I remember this was um, just after January because January I did, I met Gosha. You know when we did um, an expansion game? This is Gosha that I met. This is the, I was so confused what to do. Um, do I do my business? Do I stay with a corporate job? Um, you know, all those different things. And we were and they were moving it's like oh my god you're so much fun come with us you know it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be great my intuition my intuition was saying big don't do it mate don't do it and you know everything was like because i was i was i was feeling vulnerable i was feeling okay so human has five needs there is five needs uh, that we all have. One of them is to belong. And for some, not for some reason, well, I was partying with them. I was like, you know, are you the party girl? We love you. Oh my God, B, when there is a party, we're going to come. And, you know, I was the loud girl. I was the party girl. Let's do it. You know, let's party to 5 a.m. It was a persona. It was a, a mask that I was putting because I was suffering inside. But if I put this mask, if I get drunk, if I go out with everybody and pretend that I'm having fun, I belong. I, I, you know, I don't have to face the truth. I don't have to face anxiety. I don't have to face, I don't have to go to therapy and, and talk about the, the deep stuff. I don't have to face my demons. Okay, I'm just going to get pissed and that's it. And they would be the same, you know. They probably had their own problems. They did. And I'm not going to talk about it. Mm. And we moved to this beautiful, gorgeous property. And it was three of us, four of us, four of us all together. A beautiful, beautiful house. And these people were going away to, to travel in Asia. And it was just before COVID. Um, and we're moving into that property and we continue to party, continue to party. And the party didn't stop, you know. It was always, oh, uh, you know, it wasn't even Thirsty Thursday, it was Thirsty Tuesday. So imagine that. And I'm like, I'm tired of this. I am tired of this. I really want to concentrate on me. I want to stop. I want to chill. I want to do my yoga. I want to, you know, before I moved in, 
I remember the day that we went to the agency and we were supposed to sign everything and I couldn't find my passport. And I sit down on the bed and my intuition was saying, don't do it. I, I felt that tightness, t- tightness in my chest, that feeling heavy. It's like something's bad going to happen. You know, like when you're feeling anxious, but actually something's bad going to happen. And I ignored it. I ignored it. It's like, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Those are my friends. Okay. I moved in. Six weeks later, they still party. They still party. What's going on? Me and my hair. They still party. Um, and I was like, guys, love you to bits, but you know, it's been six weeks. I thought, you know, we moved in, we had our time, we had a housewarming party, everything's great, but maybe, you know, we can give each other some space and, and they didn't like that. They didn't like that. And they were like, you know, well, you the party girl, why do you not party with us? Why do you, I have life. Hello, Sharon. Good morning. Good evening. <laughs> She's in California. Um, and they didn't like that. Okay. So, and I was like, okay. So I was kind of felling out of the pack and, you know, she's the outsider. She doesn't want to party anymore. She doesn't, you know, buy the vodka anymore and whatever. She doesn't, she doesn't want to do things because I wanted to concentrate on me. I wanted to start building something. I wanted to, to stop, you know, and it was my kind of, my body, my mind was saying, okay, enough is enough. Come on. You got to get your shit together. You know, maybe it's the time to face the demons, but they were on a different journey. They were still partying. They were still doing the things. And the COVID kind of started happening. And it's like, oh, we're working from home. And we started arguing. We started really, really arguing. And I came home one day um, and there was a situation that was, I was terrified. I was actually terrified for my life. And then for the first time in my life, I pick up the phone and I rang the police. I rang the police and then I didn't want the police to, to, to walk in because I had my stuff in there. So I just literally put whatever I could. It was like 2 a.m. Um, and I, I just ran out from the house. They took me to my friend. Um, I never felt so vulnerable. I never felt so scared in my life. And I was like, this is my friends that threaten me, that makes me feel like shit, makes me... Um... And you know what's interesting? I was, I was deleting some stuff today and I took a screenshot of years ago um of the girl sending me pictures uh sending me messages and it was like bullying proper bullying you know and i re- i remember the feeling and it was awful and i could have avoided all this situation i could have avoided to you know how awful is that to, to be dealing with police you know it's not normal me in that sitting at the back of a police car to, to go into my friends uh, you know to stay for the night and i need to explain myself why i'm like not going uh to work next day because I'm, I'm having you know anxiety and panic attacks you know and and it was just ridiculous and this all could have been avoided if i listened to my intuition so learn a lesson from me if you're feeling there is a decision, there is something that you're doing. I'm not talking about deciding vanilla or chocolate ice cream, yeah? I'm, I'm, I'm saying something completely different. Something when it's a big decision, when it's something that you need to sign on a dotted line. When you're marrying someone, when you're moving in with someone, when, you know, if, if you just going out with someone or... You know, when you're dating, for example, and you go into somebody's house, listen to your intuition. If it doesn't feel right, don't go there. You don't know what's behind the closed doors. Always, when you're dating, go on a first date, first couple of dates, go into um, public spaces. You know, little things like that. You're not kids, come on. But what I'm saying, when there is a big thing, really tune in really tune in and 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 listen to it when it's um a good decision when it's good choice or maybe choosing a business partner choosing um a business name you know and sometimes sit on it okay you know when 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 they say uh, sleep on it beautiful that always works because when you sleep on it okay so when you when we sleep and we're consolidating an emotion okay so ask the question, sleep on it. We're going we're gonna to do a little meditation in a second and I will tell you what I mean. So ask the right question, okay? Ask the wise question. So we're going to do a meditation, breathing in, breathing out, tune in, ask the question, okay? And then wait for an answer. The answer can, can, can come straight away, 
maybe not if you're not meditating because you're not really tuned in and when you're struggling with anxiety or depression there is loads of um busyness in your mind there is loads of uh, crap going on and sometimes that's difficult to tune in to 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 your vibration to your intuition to your inner wisdom okay and also the answer could come in a dream so when you got into bed then all the emotions all the things that happened during the day when you sleep you consolidating emotions consolidating meaning um getting together getting together and just like spread it out okay that's why you feel refreshed that's why you feel like you know i, I reset in the morning because your head is supposedly um empty obviously you know we we're on a completely different level here but that's why when we say sleep on it it's a good thing to sleep on it and when you wake up you will know you will know what to do okay so when it's a no it's a tightness it's a heaviness it's um i really don't want to do it on the other hand when something's good something feels good something it feels light it feels airy it feels joyful it feels easy okay so those are the two things now you need to distinguish okay am i feeling anxious or is this my intuition talking to me? Okay. Sharon is saying, just got back from the bike ride. Good start of all the day. Amazing. Well done. How many Ks did you do? And Sharon, let us know, how is your intuition? Do you listen to your intuition? I just washed my hair and it's like... Sharon, do you, uh, do you tap into your intuition? So intuition is very helpful choosing anything in life. Intuition is very helpful to choosing your next step. And that's why I want to teach you to tune in, to actually listen to your inner wisdom, to listen to, okay, what do I do next? So in a second, I would like you to just be with me. Let's do maybe five, six minutes of meditation. And I will um, let you hear like an energetic kind of uh, music, we'll do it together. And I want you to ask a question, but ask a wise question. Maybe, what should I do next in order to heal? Okay, and just let it sink in. Let it, allow it to, to kind of wash over you. And we're gonna hear for the answer. And maybe the answer will not come straight away. Maybe you're gonna wash up, you know, um, the dishes later. And, and something pops in your head and that's going to be the answer and again if you're not feeling it if you like hmm, is this my intuition is it my anxiety is it this is it that sit on it sit on it and like when i was saying before whenever i have a big decision to make and it's like i could go this way i could go this way always something will happen to guide me to steer me into one just one decision so i just you know what i do i'm like okay there is this decision i close my eyes breathing in breathing out and i say universe please help me choose please help me choose the best choice for me and i let go and trust and i trust that the decision i trust that the next step will come to me will reveal to me okay when i started this 90 day journey challenge I didn't plan this. I did. I honestly didn't plan this. I did something in in another group, and I was listening to something, and it was about manifesting. It was, and you know what? One day I woke up, and it's like something told me you have to create a group and do ninety day challenge. And I was like, ninety day? Who's gonna do a ninety day challenge? Everyone was just like, you know, um, do something maybe for thirty days, for seven days, for twenty one days. Who's gonna do ninety days? But then I thought about it. It's like. I, I don't know. I don't care. Maybe one person joins. Maybe nobody joins. Something tells me to go this way. And it was my intuition tells me, telling me, for some reason you have to do this. You have to do this because there is something, some inner wisdom. You, you, you might be able to help people. You might be. And I was like, okay, okay. I let go. I trust. I don't know what's the next step. And I sat and I was like, okay, but what do I talk about? And it's like, of course, I know loads of shit. I talk about this and I talk about that. And honestly, I just took a pen and I start writing. And before I knew it, in 15 minutes, I had like 40 lessons. And I was like, 
wow, this is crazy. This is crazy. And then I let it guide me. You know, you don't have to have all the answers. You don't need to know where you're going to be in five years. It's just, what is my next step? What is my next step? But you also need to feel comfortable with just knowing that next step, not the five years. You know, when people say, I'm like, oh, um, it scares me not knowing the future. You know what I say? It excites me not knowing the future. Who wants to know what's behind the corner? I'm excited. I'm excited to wake up tomorrow. It's like, oh my God, this is great. And if something shit's gonna happen, I'll take it as it comes. And it's like, you know what? I know deep down, even if something supposedly looks bad, it leads me to a good thing, okay? Again, we'll talk about this, about manifesting and stuff. And um, But hopefully, um, all this makes sense. Let me see what Sharon says. Sharon saying, yes, I try to listen to my good feeling. Uh, she did over six miles. Well done. Amazing. How do you feel? Nice and refreshed. And what's the weather, darling? What's the weather? Here's not great, is it? It's raining. <laughs> but I do like the rain. I end up in a good country. Believe me or not, I never wanted to live in England. Never. Um, the perception of UK, of England from outside is like, it's always raining. It's always, um, it's my daughter. It's always raining. It's always uh, miserable. And we think, uh, when at least when I was a little girl, um, now at 5 p.m. at 5 o'clock, everyone stops, whole whole UK stops, and they have a cup of tea, you know, because it says tea time. And tea time actually means food, you know, they, they have a dinner. And I didn't know that until I came here. <laughs> and yeah, 15, 15 years later, I'm here. I'm here in the UK. Gorgeous here, 80 degrees in Florida. I don't know what's 80 degrees, but probably hot. What's that in Celsius? I work in Celsius, sorry. Okay, hopefully does that all make sense? What I want you to, to understand here, to try to tune in more and more into your intuition. In order to tune in into your intuition, listen your inner wisdom, we need to quiet in your mind. You already have tools to quiet in your mind. You already have. So the more we're going to do meditation, I'm recording you a, a morning meditation and evening meditation. So again, you have something for you, something guided, something that, you know, starting slowly, you can do your meditation and then, okay, I'm going to enjoy your meditation. I'm going to do my own thing. And at some point I would like you to take it further and actually start sitting, just sitting, listening to nothing. Okay. Just sitting um so i'm i'm curious i'm gonna just google what's 80 degrees 80 fahrenheit in celsius 26 26 celsius very nice me and jody works in celsius don't we <laughs> okay very nice send some sunshine here darling um, I have some notes here also, but also what we need to, um, uh, be careful that we also create, um, you know, when we talked about, um, affirmations, you know, we create these stories, you know, how often do you say, and tell me if you do that, we say, I can't trust myself. Do you say that? Um, I don't make good decisions. Um, I always mess up. Um, I never choose right. Do you guys say that? Do you do you find yourself saying that? I can't trust myself. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I don't. I never make the right decisions. Yeah. What do you usually say about your decision making? Can you relate? And you know, is this? kind of affirmations things that sometimes we it's so automatic and we say it all the time you know what i say all the time and i keep catching myself it's like once you get to my age once you get to my age but what does that even mean you know hmm i don't know if there is a delay 
So we need to change our vocabulary and say, okay, my intuition is incredible. I trust myself all the time. Uh, my intuition takes me, you know, shows me the way. I, I, I can tune in. I can... Um, I listen to my intuition all the time. It guides me places. I couldn't do without it. You know, I'm just like, whew, amazing. Okay, so I want to do a quick five minutes uh, meditation. What's your question? What would you like to find out? Jodie says, I generally just don't like to make any decisions. I leave it to others. <laughs> okay. But sometimes we have to, no? Sometimes you have to. Am I having a baby? Am I getting married? You know? And Sharon says, I don't think I have issues with my intuition. It's usually correct. Brilliant. Love it. Love it. Sharon can teach us one thing or two. Okay. So let's do, let's ask a question. So I would encourage you to question to be, what should I do? What should be my next step in order to heal from anxiety? Fair? So what is, what should I do next in order to heal from anxiety? Can you still hear me? Because I moved a laptop. <laughs> I feel like Jodie and Sharon's going to become best friends here. Can you still hear me? I moved something. I don't want to I don't want to lose this before we go into a meditation. If you can just say yes, you can hear me. That's amazing. Let's do the meditation and I want you to tune in. Into your inner wisdom. <laughs> can you hear me yes i can hear you okay amazing okay right ladies if you want to just get yourself comfortable let me put some music on and this music is um, 852 hertz, which is to awaken your intuition. Remove fear, self-doubt. Okay. So make yourself comfortable. Laying or sitting. And I want you to take, let's ground ourselves, take a deep breath in for three, two, one. Hold it for three, two, one. And breathe out for three, two, one. And again, breathing in. Breathe out. And I want you to breathe in calmness, positivity, relaxation. And breathing out any stress, any anxiety, any negative thoughts. And for the next five minutes, I want you just to be present. I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put a reminder for the five minutes. Reminder, timer. So I want you just to be present, just to be here and now. There is nowhere else to be. I'm just here and now. Here with me and with your beautiful intuition. Breathing in. Breathing out. Letting go of anything that you don't need right now. I want you to imagine that you're going inside of your body. 
And I want you to find your intuition. Is it your third eye? Or is it your gut? Whatever you feel drawn to. You breath in. And deep breath out. And I want you to say, if you can say it out loud, if you cannot, just say it in your head. My intuition is incredible. I trust myself. I trust my inner guidance. I trust my inner wisdom. I know that my intuition knows what to do next. I trust my intuition to give me the best answers. Because I know deep down what's needed for me to heal completely from anxiety. My inner wisdom knows what I need to be anxiety free. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Go inside of your body, find your inner wisdom, find your intuition. And I want you to ask the question, what is the next step? What should I do next in order to heal from anxiety? What is it? You don't need to know anything else. You don't need to know the full story. Just the next step. What is the next step that I should take to heal from anxiety? And allow your intuition to speak to you. This could be a whisper, this could be a feeling, this could be a thought. And it doesn't have to be right now and right here, but you ask the question. Allow your intuition to bring you the answer. And trust that it will reveal itself in the right time. Take a deep breath in and breathe out and when you're ready slowly calmly 
open your eyes and come back. Breathing out. You see, the intuition won't be screaming at you. It wouldn't be something very heavy. It will be like little whispers, little feelings, little thoughts realizations they are aha moments and like i said it doesn't have to be right now right here or maybe you will have a dream and you will wake up in the morning it's like oh, i know i know and you do know and no one can give that to you and guess what it's free it's yours it's beautiful it's already built into you and we all were born with it we just need to learn how to quiet in our mind, ask wise questions, and tap into your intuition. And your intuition will tell you any answer, any answer. Now I'm not talking, you know, what should I cook tonight? But intelligent questions. What should I do next in order to heal from anxiety? What should I do in order to heal completely from anxiety? What should I do to be anxiety free forever. But I mean, anxiety will come and go. You just need to have the tools. The problem is when we have anxiety, we can't explain. We don't know how to do about it. It comes unexpected. It's scary. It's worrying. It's constant worrying every single day. That's that's not the anxiety. That's not the normal anxiety. Normal anxiety is when you're going somewhere in a little dark alley and your inner compass, your your inner wisdom, your intuition as well, is telling you something's wrong and making you feel anxious. That's the right feeling. That's the feeling that we need and that's the feeling that it's okay. It's when it's that constant worry that it's draining. This is what we're trying to get rid of here, okay? How are we ladies? Did you get any answers or is it too too quick? Sometimes it's too quick, you need you need some time. You need some time to meditate, you need some time to to relax, to let go. And you know, when we have so many things in our mind, Sharon's probably already planning next bike ride. Sharon says she's got morning anxiety. So the bike ride is ideal and it works every time. That's great. That's great. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm creating the morning meditation for you guys. So if someone is uh, struggling with anxiety straight away when you wake up and it's already there, um, it's going to be great as well. Um, the evening meditation is going to be like, you know, taking away the stress and stuff. And again, I will put it in the, in the rainy day section. You can use it. You can download it anytime. I've got some music as well. Um, Yeah. Did you get any answers, Sharon, Jodie? Um, and you know what? I thought about uh, breath work and I did a breath work yesterday and it was incredible. And I will do breath work for you guys. I will put it here. We'll do it together. If you want to join me, join me. Amazing, incredible. If you are scared, if you're not up for it, absolutely fine. Don't do it. Okay, but I will do it. I will do it because it was insane. Uh, Jodie says, too quick, but I found meditation so calming. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it, it is too quick. And do you know what? Sharon says, awesome. Morning meditation would be great. Thank you. Okay, I'm working on it. How did we get to 43 minutes? <laughs> I don't know. When you're having fun, yeah? <laughs> um, yeah. I'm thinking of doing maybe 10 minutes uh, morning and 10 minutes evening meditation. So whenever he's ready. I will upload it with some uh, funny music, funny, not funny, nice, relaxing, calming. So this is coming. Um, I'll do the breath work next week. And I'm thinking of doing, um, can you ladies be here tomorrow with me? And we'll do 
<laughs> Sharon says, I love listening to your voice. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Yes, I will be happy to breath, do the breath work. Okay. I just don't want you to be scared. Okay. <laughs> um, let's do breath work next week. Tomorrow, let's do some dancing. Let's do a dancing meditation. Um, let's do first two of uh, five rhythms. So we're going to do flow and lyrical, I think. So um, I'll do live with you. I'll put some music. So at least half an hour, 40 minutes. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's have some fun tomorrow. Yeah, let's dance. Yeah, Sharon's dancing with us as well. Amazing. Okay, loads of love. Remember to tap in, tune in into your intuition. Get, you know, get quiet in your mind. Ask wise questions. Tap in. When you're going into your body, you say, you, you visualize, and I'm going in and I'm finding the part that is responsible for intuition. It could be anything. It could be in your elbow. It doesn't have to be your gut. But you are imagining and you're going into your body and you're saying, I'm the part of Jodie, I'm the part of Sharon, that is my intuition. And here is what is wanting to tell me. And just listen, just listen. It's there, it's your inner wisdom, it will guide you, it will never let you down. It, it always works 100%. You just need to learn how to tune in, how to um tap into it and let's start saying i can't trust myself i don't make any good decisions i always mess up everybody else can make a decision not me i never choose right no 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 we're changing this we're changing this and we say my intuition is incredible i have the best intuition i trust myself i trust my inner wisdom i trust my inner guidance because your inner wisdom's got the best interest for you for you a few you? you know what i mean <laughs> Oh, you're going to become best friends, aren't you, girls? I'm telling you, we're going to meet. We're going to meet. I'm going to do this. So I am thinking of doing, and I've been thinking about this a long time, and I, I don't know if I saw Sharon. So one thing I'm going to do, I want to do a workshop, like a live workshop. We can all meet together. And then I want to do a retreat, but a retreat's going to be maybe four days, seven days, um, somewhere now. Got to stay positive. Mind is huge. Absolutely, Sharon, I'm with you. Thank you. Loads of love. I shall see you tomorrow for some dancing and meditation. Amazing. Uh, yeah, get some comfies on and I shall see you tomorrow. Have a lovely evening. Have a lovely day, Sharon. You take care, my lovelies.